August 31st. My joy, your joy. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be complete. John 15, verse 11. What was the joy that Jesus had? Joy should not be confused with happiness. In fact, it is an insult to Jesus Christ to use the word happiness in connection with him. The joy of Jesus was his absolute self-surrender and self-sacrifice to his Father, the joy of doing that which the Father sent him to do, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Hebrews 12, verse 2. I delight to do your will, O my God. Psalm 40, verse 8. Jesus prayed that our joy might continue fulfilling itself until it becomes the same joy as his. Have I allowed Jesus Christ to introduce his joy to me? Living a full and overflowing life does not rest in bodily health and circumstances, nor even in seeing God's work succeed, but in the perfect understanding of God and in the same fellowship and oneness with Him that Jesus Himself enjoyed. But the first thing that will hinder this joy is the subtle irritability caused by giving too much thought to our circumstances. Jesus said, The cares of this world choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. Mark 4, verse 19. And before we even realize what has happened, we are caught up in our cares. All that God has done for us is merely the threshold. He wants us to come to the place where we will be His witnesses and proclaim who Jesus is. Have the right relationship with God, finding your joy there, and out of you will flow rivers of living water. John 7, verse 38. Be a fountain through which Jesus can pour His living water. Stop being hypocritical and proud, aware of only yourself, and live your life hidden with Christ in God. Colossians 3, verse 3. A person who has the right relationship with God lives a life as natural as breathing wherever he goes. The lives that have been the greatest blessing to you are the lives of those people who themselves were unaware of having been a blessing.